you think of where the disciples were, we like to celebrate on Easter, but the night before Easter was the darkest night in history. The night before the greatest celebration was the darkest moment this world had seen. Because you see, when Jesus came into this, into this world, into existence, God said, let there be light. Jesus is the word of God. You get that? He is the literal word of God made in manifest, manif manifestation. So when God said, let there be light, guess what happened? Boom, Jesus showed up on the scene. Jesus is the light of the world. Revelations tells us that we're not going to need the sun and the moon and the lights because Jesus, the lamb, is the light. So when Jesus was buried in the grave, it was like a light was snuffed out. And I wonder how many people here today feel that there's been a light snuffed out in your life. Buried the light dark. But see, in the darkest moments, something was happening. There was reparation. His body was being prepared and repaired, getting ready to come back such a glorious body that those who knew him, who were closest to him, didn't even recognize him because the battle he had just faced had changed the very image of his body. And there are some of you that came in here this week with a battle that you were facing so great that when you walk out with victory, your friends and family aren't even gonna recognize you. They're gonna say, what in the world happened to you? You see...